Hey everybody, I'm Laura Bryant, and you're watching my iHeartRadio Ask Anything Chad. Thanks to Romeo and everyone at Most Requested Live for having me on tonight to talk about my new song, Jawbreaker. So let's go to Barbara from Washington, D.C. Yes, I love me some good D.C. I'm from the Maryland, D.C. area. And she asks, how did you pick Jawbreaker as your single? Well, Jawbreaker to me is so, I love this song. And I feel like it's so me to the nth degree. So I sat down with my producers, Damon Sharp and Eric Santacola, and I was like, you guys, we need to write a song that's sassy attitude, in your face, female empowerment kind of thing, and Jawbreaker is what came out. It's got that sassy, in your face kind of stuff, plus I like the little play on the candy, so good question, Barbara. Let's go to Lauren from Harrisburg, PA. How many chicken nuggets do you think you could eat in one sitting? I would say I probably could eat probably six to eight, although I'll tell you what, I'm loving those spicy nuggets, so that might be a little less than that, so maybe it's four. But you gotta throw in some good ranch and some barbecue sauce. I'm all over that in a bag of chips. JoJo from Jacksonville, Florida. What can you cook? Oh, JoJo, well, let me explain something to you. I really can't cook. In fact, during the pandemic, I had to ask a friend, I had to phone a friend and ask, how do you make rice? And I've had the fire department to my house twice, so it's a disaster. I should never cook. Um, I do cook bird food, and I can do some hard-boiled eggs, <laughs> but that's about it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not good. I feel like the kitchen should be another closet. Not good. Lewis from Seattle, Washington, what's your favorite candy? Oh, I'm telling you, I love me some good gummy. Anything gummy is great. <laughs> But I love me some good Sour Patch Kids. They give you that little zing you need. So good. And uh, Jennifer from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. What is your voicemail message? Oh, that's so fun. I love that. Let me think. Um, hi, this is Laura Bryna, Tyler, Harmony, and Snuggles. None of us are available to take your call right now. But if you leave your name, number, and a brief message, one of us will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks, and have a great day. <laughs> I can't believe I actually remember that. That's so crazy. Annie from Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. When was the first time you were recognized in public? Wow, that's a, that's a good one. I have to say, I was at, I was going, I was in Beverly Hills. That's where I was, Beverly Hills, California. And I was going into CVS to actually buy a sugar product. I needed some Sour Patch Kids. I was needing some sugar at the moment. And so I walked in and there, and as I was coming out with my Sour Patch Kids, I was like, hi, there I was with all the paparazzi. And I was like, hi, anybody want some sugar? Sugar, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> So that was really fun. Um, let's see, Lily from New York City. Oh, the Big Apple. I gotta go back there, it was so fun. Um, how do you protect your hearing in the studio and on stage? That's a really good question. I am somebody, it's actually really funny. I can listen to music loud and I love looking at fireworks and watching them and everything, but the loud noise, that little bang, I guess, really freaks my ears out. I don't know why that is. I, and I sometimes I end up crying because it just really gets to me, but I always have earplugs and I have tissues in my purse at all times, or even my gig bag, as I like to call it. Um, the tissues just, they save me every time if it's not an earplug. But I, when I put on the studio, when I put on my headphones in the studio, I, I'll put one on my left side and then I'll put one kind of off of my ear on the right side so I can kind of hear the room ambiance too. And I also like to hear my voice in, in the actual room just to see how it's going. Um, but also in my in-ear monitors that I wear on stage, I don't turn them all the way up. I like to I like to feel it and, and you don't need to have it that loud. Plus I take one out too when I'm on stage because I love to feel the crowd and hear what's going on. And, and I also like to get that, that live feeling. You can't, you can't replace that. So great question though. So always have some in-ear in -ear plugs and also some tissue. Tissue will always save you. <laughs> so uh, let's do Tara from Huntington, West Virginia. Oh, I have some good friends that just moved there. Gotta go see them, as well as you, Tara. 
If you were on a dating site, what, co uh, what quality do you have that you would lead off your profile with? I would definitely say I love to laugh and I love to have a good time. So if you can't laugh and have a good time, I ain't your chick. Not the right person. <laughs> so you got to laugh, have a good time, and don't take life so seriously. And uh, Stephanie from Savannah, Georgia. Oh, I love me Savannah. That's so good. They have those great squares. And I think they have the most squares in the U.S. I think that is. So, oh, cobblestone. Oh, the good food. So great. And everybody's so wonderful and nice there. If you had uh, to have a theme song play whenever you entered a room, what would it be? Ooh, you know, I love Justin Timberlake's Can't Stop the Music. <laughs> I just, that song, every time I hear it, I always want to dance. And it just puts you in that feel-good place. And it just makes you want to dance around. So I definitely would say that's, that's my song. <laughs> Roberta from Detroit, Michigan. If you met a genie, ah, and he gave you three wishes, what would you choose? That's a good question. I love that. Um, I'd say I probably, I would want to get rid of all the horrible diseases out there from cancers to viruses and all those, ugh, AIDS and uh, everything, the coronavirus, everything. I just would love to wipe that out and get rid of that. And I think number two would definitely be to, to make sure I could grant all these children's wishes who are going through these horrible cancers and whatnot and, and get rid of that. And, and maybe we just wouldn't need make a wish anymore. Um, so that would probably, oh, that's probably tied into one. <laughs> so, uh, number two, I probably would say, I know this sounds probably nutty, but peace, world peace, I guess, what is that? Like Miss Congeniality with Sandra Bullock. But, you know, I, I hope that we can all get to a place where we're, we can live as one. Um, you know, there's so much negativity out there with, uh, you know, with different religious preferences, sexual preferences, cultural differences, religious beliefs, whatever it may be, the people's color of their skin. You know, why can't we all just be the best us we can be and accept each other's individuality and, and be the most authentic people we can be? That's really my thing. And I guess number three is um, I would love to bring my dad back. So that would be something that I would love to have. Um, again, that goes with all those yucky cancers, but I would love to bring my dad here. Um, so, yes, let's do Bella from Knoxville, Tennessee. I was just there a little bit ago. What's the most favorite car you've owned? Oh, that's a, such a good one, Bella. I had a silver Jeep Liberty that I loved this car. So many great memories in this car. I, um, I drove across country with my dad, with my birds, <laughs> because I'm the crazy parrot chick. Uh, we drove in the car across country. God, we had so much fun and just talking about different things and memories and fun stuff and going to Amarillo, Texas and seeing the Cadillacs and we painted them. We, we stopped at gas stations. We were sneaking birds into our shirts and things to try and get them into the motels and whatnot, wherever we were staying. So, sorry, Marriott. Yikes. But uh, it was so fun. And Dairy Queen, oh, God bless you, Dairy Queen, you saved us. <laughs> but I love that Silver Jeep Liberty. It was so good. It just ran and ran and ran. So good. Uh, let's do Andrea from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Oh, I love me some Cherry Hill. Who do you text the most with? I would say I text the most with my mom. We, mommy and I, we chat, oh my God, at least 20 times a day. We have so much fun. We can talk about nothing and everything, but really, you know, my mom went to school for fashion, uh, fashion merchandising. So she and I are always talking about my fashion and what, what we should wear for the next event or video or photo shoot or, uh, even into the recording studio when we're just wearing schleppy clothes and fun stuff like that, just our sweats and whatnot. But we love to have a good time. We, again, we can laugh about everything and anything and just talk about nothing and all the good stuff. So thanks for a great question. <laughs> Rose from Davenport, Iowa. Oh, that's some good corn, by the way. Um, is the reason you started in music still the same reason you're in music today? So good, Rose. Absolutely. I love music. Music brings people together. It makes me smile. And I hope it makes other people smile. I love 
touching people's hearts and making them feel something. And, uh, you know, especially country music, I love the lyrics, I love the melody. Uh, it's about real life experiences and maybe it triggers a memory, but you know, it, it's all about making that intimate connection with your fans or the Bryaniacs, as I like to call our, our big family. And, and uh, you know, it's very special to me to have, to be able to do what I love and to, and to do it with music. It's, it's great to, to really live the dream, as I like to call it. And Abby from Pittsburgh, if you were on The Masked Singer, <laughs> what would you sing and what costume would you wear? Oh, I love that. That's so good. Well, you know, I have to be a bird because, you know, I got my babies and my little parrots, so I got to be a bird. But probably, I love, oh, I probably would sing My Strongest Suit from, uh, from the Broadway musical Aida. I love that song. It's very girly and fun. Oh, now I believe in love again. Like my time on earth is cooking, whether polka dotted stripe or even change. Oh, I love that. For a dress has always been my strongest suit. Love that. So good, so good. I'm like falling off the chair. <laughs> I'm so into it. So let's do Beth from Nashville, Tennessee. If the answer on Jeopardy was Laura Bryna, what was the question? Oh, that's so good. I love you, Beth. So good. Um, I'd say the question was probably, uh, who is, or no, she is a recording artist. She's sassy. She's funky. She's fun. Lots of attitude. Loves some good female empowerment, but very emotional. Uh, loves to give back, help people. And her song is Jawbreaker. Who is this? <laughs> and then we've got Peggy from San Antonio, Texas. Oh, I love me that river walk. You know, actually, I flew into San Antonio and drove to do my first ever. Oh, I love this was such a great experience. I, with the Air National Guard, I got to do my first F-16 ride. Oh, it was so good. I loved it. And I flew into San Antonio, Texas, so I will always remember you guys. And always, I love that river walk and just walking around and grabbing a little bite there. So, oh, love me some good Texas, because, you know, everything's bigger in Texas. The hair, the shoes, all of the above. <laughs> what emoji would you use to describe yourself? You know, I love the flippy person. That flippy person, I guess, A, because I always would love to do, or I would love to be able to do a flip. I'm still working on it. Good luck with that, I should say. <laughs> but I love that flippy person because I'm always like, yippee skippy, I'm so excited. Yay, that's so fun. So I love that one. Although I do love the kissy face too. So it's kind of a tie, but I love the flippy person. And uh, Emily from Philadelphia. One song that will always remind you of your childhood. These are great questions. Oh my God. Love you, Philly. I miss me some good uh, Pats and Gina's cheesesteaks. Oh, they're so good. Uh, and I love me some good water ice. You can't beat that. And Chicky and Pete's. Oh my gosh. I love the crab fries. Mm, yummy stuff. Um, Let's think about it. So I think one song I would say. So my sisters and I, we grew up, my parents had a jukebox in our basement and they had, they always played the oldies but goodies. So Obviously, we were never around for the oldies, but we know every oldies song there is because my dad always played them in the car. On our way to Sunday school, we're eating our donuts, and there we are going to Sunday school. The song that I probably would say reminds me of my childhood would probably be Runaway by Del Shannon. Oh, such a good song. And there I was with my metal spoon singing and uh, my sisters were my backup dancers and the backup singers. We had so much fun and we thought we were so great. Oh my God, we thought we were great. So yeah, that would be the song that would remind me the most of my childhood. Great question, Emily. Jenny from Winnipeg. I love that Winnipeg came up. It's so great. What is your most used app on your phone outside of text messages? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I probably would say, I mean, I love my camera, of course, because I love to keep, uh, 
I, I love to record memories and moments and living in, living in the moment always. But I love my Instagram, my TikTok, my Facebook, I YouTube, all of those. I love being a part of social media. I love being able to connect with everybody. It is me that answers all the messages. So to me, that's so important to stay in touch with my Brainiacs. We always talk about our days, what we're going through in our lives, what we're celebrating. We lift each other up uh, when we're having a bad moment and we celebrate the good times. So I really love my social media apps because I just, I love staying in touch and being a part of my Brainiac family. Great question though, Jenny, I love that. Um, Ashley from Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, I love that. You know, they, they have a great, I love that airport there. It's so good. <laughs> if you could build your dream house, would it be by the ocean, mountains, or a lake? And what would make this house special? Oh gosh, you know, I, I think I would love to live by a lake. I love the fresh air and although the mountains have the fresh air too and so the ocean, but I love being able to sit by the water and, and just be able to be quiet and write a song. And I, it's those times where I really can reflect on things that are going on in my life. And that's when I find I have the best writing. Um, it's just, I can really think about just the different life experiences and things that I've gone through or, or what I'm going through at the moment. So I love that. But I think what would make the house special is I have to have an aviary for the babies to be in. <laughs> and I'm sure I would acquire many more birds too. So become the crazy, crazy parrot chick. <laughs> so I love that. But great question. I love that. Hey everybody, I'm Laura Bryna. Thanks again for watching my Ask Anything chat. And don't forget to check out my new song, Jawbreaker. Thank you everyone. Romeo, you're amazing. And everyone at Most Requested Live, thank you so much for having me on tonight to answer all your questions.